The brush fires in the Jacksonville area have been causing a lot of smoke, as you can see. So how is this smoke affecting your health? We talked to some doctors who explain. Purdue offers fresh and modern ideas for businesses looking to improve their working environments. In fact, they promote wellness in the workplace. So if you're feeling stressed and you just want to get up and move around, you can take a stroll while you work. To get customers to come out during the day, some restaurants are offering drink specials, food specials, and even games. Now, police tell me that Johnson is facing several charges, including kidnapping, careless driving, as well as a DUI. In front of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Heather Zimmerman, Channel 4, the local station. Around 7.20 last night, investigators tell me that a couple was taking a stroll down this stretch when they looked into the ditch and made a gruesome discovery. July 4th is a day to celebrate our independence and the thousands of men and women fighting for our country each and every day. The kids at Selvin Marina Summer Camp learned exactly what it means to be free. Now remember, you need at least one life jacket for each person on your boat and you need to make sure that it fits them correctly. On the St. Johns River, Heather Zimmerman, Channel 4, the local station. And the victims tell me that the crimes normally start out like this. The robbers will knock on the door. The victims open the door, the criminals force their way in, and sometimes they even beat their victims. Fireworks on July 4th can be exciting to watch, but getting those colorful explosions in the sky can be a difficult process. We spoke to some pyrotechnicians who tell us how it works. Pyro Shows is the company that provides Jacksonville's fireworks and is based out of Tennessee. They get most of their product from China, but getting there and back is easier said than done. First, a 20-hour plane ride to Beijing, then bumpy rides through back roads to reach the country's fireworks factories. The art and science of fireworks constantly evolves, which explains the need for these international shopping excursions. Once the explosives make it through customs, they arrive here in the United States. Jacksonville's fireworks arrived in Green Cove Springs last week, and the crew at Pyro Show got straight to work. We'll bring those um, off of the tractor trailer. Um, we'll get them laid out on the barge. Uh, we'll go back and tie them together for structural integrity um, so they don't shift. Um, it makes it a more stable platform uh, for the product. And, um, and then once we have that built and everything is laid out according to our queue logs, we'll, we'll go back and actually start dropping the product. The Q log is what they use to choreograph the fireworks to music. The Q the is basically um, when you want a shell to go off at a particular time during the show. Um, an example is uh, Lee Greenwood's, you know, God bless the USA. Well, on USA, you want something breaking on U, S, and A. Getting the barges to their location is about a three hour ride by tugboat up the river. Once they arrive, a thorough inspection is done to ensure their safety, and then the crew prepares for the show. Now, there are several firework displays happening in the area. In fact, Jacksonville Beach and downtown Jacksonville's firework displays start at 9.30 p.m. And if you're in Clay County, they have an event happening at Orange Park, which starts at 11 a.m., ending in a fireworks display. In Clay County, Heather Zimmerman, Channel 4, the local station. The smoke is everywhere, and it's hard to avoid, especially if you're trying to enjoy your lunch outside today. We talked to some restaurants about the effects it's having on their business. The air quality has been poor the last several weeks and people are more aware of the dangers it's having on their health. But it's also affecting the local economy, especially restaurants like O Brothers Irish Pub, where the majority of their seating is outdoors. People like to smoke still will come out and sit for a while and drink their beers, uh, but then they will retreat inside every so often. Kurt Cavins also says that it's been affecting their work because most customers are sitting inside due to the smoke, leaving the servers outside with empty tables. Empty tables means empty pockets. To get customers to come out during the day, some restaurants are offering drink specials, food specials, and even games. We have a cornhole tournament on Wednesday, and uh, the guys that play in that have mentioned it's a little smoky out here, but they can still see the board, and uh, we're doing the best we can. However, some restaurants like Moss Fire Grill are blaming the lack of business on the combination of smoke and heat. I would say more or less the heat. 
right now is what's affecting our outdoor seating. I don't know about other na neighborhood restaurants and how the smoke's affecting them. Um, I know that O Brothers next door, half of their seating's outside, so it's probably affecting them more than it is us. Luckily, if you're heading out tonight, many of the businesses we talk to agree that the temperatures are cooler and the smoke isn't as heavy. In Riverside, Heather Zimmerman, Channel 4, The Local Station.